Hi folks, how are you today? My name is Glendora and I'm 95 years old and I've been doing public access TV shows for 53 years. And one of these activities includes an article that we write on veganism every month or actually every week for our local shopping news newspaper owned by the Albany Times Union, a Hearst Corporation property. And our friend April is kind enough to read us one of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is from Thursday, July 6, 2023. It says... One Health states that there are between 480,000 and 640,000 urinary tract infections per year caused by eating meat. Glendora is reading this to you from the American Vegan Quarterly. Friends, would you like to know how many jokes Glendora has told? She will try to estimate some. First of all, please go to IMDB, International Movie Database website, and search Glendora Folsom Buell in the search bar and see the municipalities in which Glendora has told these jokes. And we have some jokes. One, Dolly said to Molly, what do you think of red china? Molly said, it's okay if it doesn't clash with the <laughs> tablecloth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that enough? Do you want to do all of them? <laughs> Would you like me to read all of them or that's it? Oh, yes, honey. Okay. Read every word, would you? Okay. Two, somebody said to a woman, why do you call your son-in-law blister? <laughs> the woman said, because he never shows up until the work is done. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. A man said, there is nothing I wouldn't do for my brother, and there is nothing my brother wouldn't do for me. So, we'd go through life doing nothing for each other. Sound familiar, folks? <laughs> Four. The secretary said, I'm afraid, the, I'm afraid the judge's mind is wandering. The law clerk said, don't worry, it's too weak to go very far. <laughs> and number five. Teacher, what is an indentured servant? Boy, an indentured servant is a slave with false teeth. <laughs> Go to Google and type in Glendora Beal. And that's that one. Oh, that's very good. It doesn't tell them. It says, what does it say? Google Glendora Beal? Yes. I suppose that would work. Yeah, and we also had the IMDB, too. Oh, that's on there, too? Yeah. Thank you very much, April. You're very welcome. Now, folks, I'm going to redo the speech that the Alliance for Community Media, which is a public access association for the USA, I'm going to renew it. I'm going to redo it. So, stand by, everybody. Five, four, three, two. Hi, folks. How are you today? My name is Glendora, and I'm 95 years old, and I've been doing public access TV for 53 years. We are currently on program number 14,200. And we have the Glendore Public Access Television Network, which serves 500 municipalities across the country through 72 public access... <laughs> Public access TV stations. Hold it, folks. Hello? Hi, Glendora. I just wondered, would you like to do those expenses? Uh, I don't know exactly what to do with that. Wayne was going to read you the expenses for the month of June. Would you pause the camera, please? Yes. Thanks, April. Folks, I've decided yes to Wayne's kind question to do the expenses for June. And then we'll do the uh, speech for Alliance over. Go ahead, Wayne. What was the biggest expense? Well, your biggest expense, you had a big expense here for medical, I know. Um, was it medical?
medical. That's really for Christian science. Oh, no, no, you, no, it wasn't medical this month. No, I'm sorry. I was looking at something else. Uh, your biggest expense was probably groceries, $146. Is that all? Yes. That's just minimum. That's a minutes. Well, you came out ahead for the month of June, too, by $696. You didn't spend as much as you might ordinarily. Print was a big expense. That was, uh, no, it wasn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little confused here. Okay, uh, no, you didn't have any really big expenses other than non-employee compensation, the 620, 624. Any gasoline? Gasoline? I don't believe, no, that was zero. Any museum? Museum would be 75, as usual. Yep. Uh, keep going, Wayne. How was postage? Postage was $31. My, it was a slim month, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Keep going, honey. Okay. Um, starting on the first page that I was working here, so gasoline was zero, and medical was zero, dental was zero, print was zero, and cars were zero. Woo! <laughs> Good, huh, April? Uh, yeah, it's great. The donations received were $50. And how much was non-employee compensation? Oh, that was 624 Okay. And your consolidated internet was 194 High-speed internet, $5. And... Um, as I said, on your business expenses, the biggest one was non-employed compensation, 624. For technical equipment, you spent 160, and as we said, postage was 31 dollars. Office supplies, 17. Now you did have to pay an electric bill for June. Yep, for the first time. What was it? 125. Well, for the business part, it was 83 because that's two thirds of your um, bill, and then the personal was 42. So that was 125 total. And your telephone was 116. And I already gave you the museum was 75. Your bank fees came to 115. Yeah. So then we've got airtime zero and one time only business zero. And then, of course, $300 of your rent is for business. Wait, $300 for what, dear? Rent for business? 300 Okay. And, one and then... How much is rent for personal? 100 Well, that's good. So your groceries came to $146, and your household came to $91. And going on with your personal expenses, I already gave you the electric for 42 and the rent part personal was 100 Your health and beauty aids came to $11. Gifts were 25 Clothes would have been 0 and laundry was $36, and there was no one-time only personal. Oh, good. So, um, your total for your business expenses came to $770, and your personal expenses came to 451 for a total of $2,221. So, your total income for the month was 2917 and when we deduct the 2221 you were to the good $696. There you are, April. Nice. Now we have to... Pre Wayne, you did a grand job. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right. I appreciate that so much. Oh, you're welcome. And now I'll let you get back to your speech. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wayne. You're welcome. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, dear. So I have $600 to give to somebody, folks, because we don't need that money, do we, April? No, we don't. And we have another 500 left over from uh, May. So we have to find somebody to give, or quite a few somebodies to give $1,100 to this month, hon. The food stamps gave us... Uh, I think you spent 150 already, didn't you, dear? Um, yes, you yes. did. You spent 150 and there's 50 left over. Well, thank you, world. Thank you, everybody, for your ample sufficiency, for your abundant overflow, for your opulence. 
Thank you, all the world, for that, all of you. All right. Now, dear April, would you go back and read another advertiser, please? Yes, I can. Okay. So this one is Thursday, June 29th. And it says, Veganism is my way of living, and I seek to exclude all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, and any other purposes. I only eat from the plant kingdom, vegetables, fruits, legumes, grains, nuts, and seeds. I express nonviolence towards animals and the earth. I promote health practices and harmonious living. Glendora adopted this from the American Vegan Society, AVS. AVS founder H.J. Dinshaw, dad, had vowed to work every day until all the slaughterhouses are closed. Hero in a, and it's from the Hero in a Purple Plaid shirt in the AVS magazine. Jal has a delicious recipe for you. Square chocolate chip cookies found, mm. yes, found on page five of the AVS magazine. Um, jokes. A reporter asked the teacher, what are three things you like best about being a teacher? She said, shaping young minds, building good Americans, and teaching kids kindness. The reporter asked another teacher, what are three things you like the best about being a teacher? She said, June, July, and August. <laughs> Two. Someone asked, what was life like in colonial times? The little boy said, life in colonial times was hard. Kids had to play their video games by candlelight. <laughs> Three. A man said, if I have to have a heart transplant, I want the heart of my boss. Yeah. It's never been used. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, four. Why do they call your son-in-law Blister? Mother-in-law, he never shows up until after the work is done. Right. Do oh, wait, we did this one. Secretary. Uh, no, we did this one, too. Then it says, Glen Google Glendora Folsom, go to International Movie Database website, and type in the search bar, Glendora Folsom Buell. That's, that's very it. interesting, folks. Okay. And that's the end. Uh... <clears throat> How many minutes have we done, dear? We are at 12 minutes, so you're all... Good. Listen to this, folks. Our program done by uh, Bobby Reno on Edmodia Lewis, the African-American and also American Indian sculptress who gained such appreciation for her fine art. That video has 50... Eight views, is it? Is it 58, 50, Madeline's yeah, head? Uh, 68, I think, actually. 68? Yes. Isn't that grand? Good for you, Bobby Reno. Good for you, Edmodia. Now, uh, you say 12 minutes. Yes. Well, this would be a good time to start over again. Our restructuring of the speech okay. that Glendora was asked to give to the Alliance for Community Media, the Trade Association for Public Access TV in the United States. So we'll start again. Okay. Five. Hi, folks. How are you today? My name is Glendora. I am 95 years old, and I have been doing public access TV programs for 53 years. We are currently on program number... 14,200, and it is on 500 municipalities across the United States on 72 public access TV stations, to wit, Boston, Quincy, Springfield, Mass, Pittsfield, uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Trenton, Newark, Chicago, Portland, Oregon, 
San Francisco, San Jose, San Diego, San Antonio, Las Vegas, and another 14 in Westchester, and another 13 in Connecticut. And our message is what, folks? When all is said and done, the only thing that really mattered is how did you treat others? And we want ourselves and everybody we know to be the best we can be. And we believe that sin and sickness can be overcome by prayer and faith. Harry said, I don't want to go to school today. The kids don't like me. The teachers don't like me. Even the custodians have got it in for me. His mother says, well, you are going to school today. You, you have much to offer. You have much to learn. And besides, you're 45 years old and the principal. A man said, if I ever have a heart transplant, I want the heart of my boss. It's never been used. The little girl was noisy in church. And her mother whispered something to her. And the little girl calmed right down, right to the end of the service. What did you say to her in her ear? I told her, if you make a noise, the priest is going to lose his place and start the sermon all over again. <laughs> there was a sign in the cafeteria. There was a huge bowl of beautiful apples. And the sign says, take only one. God is watching. And down at the other end of the cafeteria was a big platter of chocolate chip cookies. And that sign said, help yourself. God is watching the cookies. I mean, God is watching the apples. Could you pause the recorder, honey, just for a minute? Mm -hmm. um, in 1962, videotape came into the TV stations. And I was on TV for General Electric, WRGB, in the New York State Capitol District, 45 minutes a day. And they decided, for some reason, to make a videotape of my program instead of letting it go live. But I'm telling you folks, the videotape machine was this big, and the videotape itself was two inches. They made so many mistakes, because it was new to them, that the time they finished videotaping, it was already time to go live. So, but I left anyway, and a little boy came in to be on the Freddy Fry office show, a kid's show just before or after mine or something, and he ran up to May Dunn, the General Electric ex uh, receptionist, and he said to her, Can I see Glendora? And May leaned over the desk and said, Glendora isn't alive today. He thought I'd died. <laughs> and she said the terrible expression that came over his face. Then we were going to tell you about the uh, patient said to his dentist, uh, Hey, Doc, you haven't pulled the right tooth yet. And the dentist says, No, but I'm getting closer. And April can you tell the people what the uh, judge said to the dentist? Um, yeah, that one was. I I wait. Remind me. Sorry. Do you promise to pull... oh pull the pull the tooth? Nothing but the tooth. And I think I got it right. Do you promise to pull the tooth? The whole tooth. The whole tooth and, and nothing, nothing about, about the, the tooth. tooth. Yeah. Very good, April. Okay, the whole two things. Got and it. now, folks, I'm not going to be around much longer. This body is going into recycle. This great and wonderful body is going into recycle. But the spirit never dies. Mm -hmm. Never. You will always hear the spirit. And this spirit is telling you, stick with public access TV. Protect it. Guard it. Perpetuate it. There are only two forms 
of free speech left, sidewalk free speech, and public access free speech. And Congress has already said in the Cable Act of 1984 that public access is an electronic soapbox. So all of the Constitution, the First Amendment, that protects sidewalk free speech, protects public access free speech. And just two more things left. Never lie, steal a cheat. Never lie, steal a cheat. And go vegan.